Alright, so, I've been getting questions and questions and questions in chat, in the comment section. How do I gear my Liz? Liz is about to come out on Global. And uh, she's actually gonna come out tomorrow, by the time you're watching this. And uh, it's honestly not as simple as other characters were. Like, Trader Melly, I just I just said, plain and simple, attack crit. You wanna do damage, right? Mega, thank you for the prime. You wanna do damage. Right? What, what else do you want to do with him? Attack crit. You want to do, you want to do damage cap on bird? Attack crit. But with Liz, it's not so simple. Because her ultimate... Like, she's a DPS character. To her core, she's a DPS character. She has two attack cards, right? <laughs> Recovery, yeah, yeah, yeah. But her ultimate is HP. And one of her attack cards multiplies, honestly, better with HP than with attack, right? Because of how H how much H more HP you have than you have attack, right? So, the way to gear Liz is very simple. Do you have HP defense for your goddess Liz from the first anniversary? Honestly, that's good enough. I don't think you need to make new gear for her. But if you want to go above and beyond and actually have your Liz do damage, the coveted, the one no one speaks of, no one dares, HP crit actually works. She crits. She has high crit chance. Oh, damn it. She has high crit chance, 116. And if you pair her up with other characters that boost her crit chance, which you might end up, like uh, Fast and Magaffer, for example, she crits, right? So, at HP crit, I want to say is the optimal. I feel like Speedy for using it. But, you know, <laughs> HP crit might be the optimal, right? But if you already have HP defense, and you're tight on anvils, it's good enough. The difference between HP crit and HP defense is not as much, right? But you got the extra CC, and the, you know, the fact that you already have it, for example. That's good enough. You don't need to make anything. I I did make a attack crit for her, right? Because, you know, I, I am I am the researcher. I am the, uh, the test subject. I need to test things. Honestly, ah, it's not that good. Attack crit. I'm probably going to uh, remove these attacks and give it to someone else. Attack crit, is, it wasn't it for her. It really wasn't. Like, her ultimate does more damage of HP. And her AoE does more damage of HP crit than with attack crit. So, only her single target is getting benefit from that, which is kind of nice. But the thing with Flood is that, yes, if you have more attack, you do more damage. But with how Flood works... I don't know why I backed out like that. With how Flood works, let's say you have a larger HP pool, it's harder for your enemies to get you to a lower percentage of HP, if that makes any sense. Like, if your enemy does 50k damage to you, if you have more HP, you're still gonna have a higher percentage than if you had attack crit. So, you know, in a way, it's still beneficial to have HP for her, uh, but don't, I don't recommend attack for her at all. No, whatsoever, don't make attack, attack for her, it's not worth it. Just for the benefit of having your single target do a little bit more damage is really not worth it. Uh, you're better off using HP. And you have more CC. So. Again, if you do pull her, the one good thing I can give you is that if you if you already built HP defense for a Liz, which Liz has been a predominant character in the game for years, um, then you're good to go. Let's play two or three matches here with uh, my favorite team to run for her, uh, which is with Fast Galfer and... Um, Disgusting Merlin, uh, but you know it is what it is. Uh, I think this is either the, her best team or her second best team. It's between this one and Archangels. And if Mael releases, knock on wood, uh, they're not gonna shaft him. Uh, uh, then Archangels might end up being her best team if you know Liz ends up being. A really good support for him, for him especially, because the way Liz is built, she's a DPS unit, right? But also she buffs allies with her passive, with their uh, basic stats. 
So if you have like Margaret and her, and then you have like her with Tarmio Link and then like Mayo as your other DPS in the front there, all three of them, you might end up having a team with a lot of stats. And if Mayo also buffs Goddess basic stats, that would also be nasty for her. Because the more basic stats she has, the better it is for her. Because her 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 AoE hits so much harder if you have high uh, attack related stats. Or sorry, HP HP stat. And let's go um, first off with this. Oh, actually, let's first attack with Gaffer, in case he has dodge food. Uh, you know, let, let's let's start attacking in Trident Melee. He has a Tar Meal Link, so I don't want to get um, attacking that. <laughs> Archangel Festival teams get- yeah, listen, Archangels, they are like one unit away from being the best team in the game, right? They just need Mile to be like a big time DPS unit and a fourth, a really good fourth and they'll be the best team in the game. But you know, the way it is now, it's not really looking like that. I'm so sorry to this guy. I'm actually gonna do this just so I can get her ultimate. I'm so sorry, bro. And now I full healed my team with Liz. <laughs> oh my god. I can attack you again next turn. Um And as you can see I'm doing a lot with Liz here. Now let's do an attack with her. Just so <laughs> Just so I can uh, say I did something with her this match. Um, <laughs> I'm not enjoying this. This is awful. Who would run this? Only bad people. She actually hit decently hard for a level 1 there. Only bad people run this. So the reason why I like Gaffer so much is because, you know, I'm, I'm popping in the Merlin cards. It's not a terrible match for me to use Liz on. But, you know, I'm popping in the Merlin cards, and every single time I pop in a Merlin card, Gaffer is buffing my attack-related stats and my HP-related stats, and Liz is buffing both Gaffer herself and Merlin's basic stats. So, each time I use an attack card, my team is just getting stronger and stronger. And if I get the Gaffer ultimate, I buff uh, my attack with the stats of all allies by 25%. Alright, so this team is really good to counter what we're facing here. Because um, what we're gonna do is this. We're gonna do this right here. And disable the um, possibility of him ult rushing the first turn at the very least. Because he can't cleanse the, uh, the debuff. <laughs> now, let's see. Well, next turn he got the ultimate. There's not anything I can do about that. The most we can do is uh, hope for the best. <laughs> uh, okay. So we're gonna tax you again, but he's gonna cleanse. Hmm. We're gonna tax you again, and get two more stacks for Liz. DN Ult Rush is so much fun. I love DN Tarmia Link. It's like using Merlin, but even more cancer. Now Liz is gonna hit very hard, but I don't know. It's not gonna be hard enough to like kill them. Um, unfortunately, but we do what we can do. At the very least, if he pushes the end ultimate, can remove it. But I'm not gonna kill the, the Liz. I don't do enough DPS. It's just as simple as that. Because of the end's damage reduction. The end team is just... It's just... It is what it is, man. Alright. I'm surprised he didn't attack Gaffer. He should have attacked Gaffer. Uh, we're gonna remove the end ultimate gauge, at the very least here. And we're gonna get the Gaffer passive. 
Um, and so let's do this. We're gonna do a very good amount of damage to Liz here with our AoE. And we healed. Yeah, almost killed Margaret. But the 40% damage reduction is too much. The 40% damage reduction is just too much. Plus the damage reduction for Margaret as well. It's just too much for Liz. The FPS, it's lagging for me as well. It's not, it's not the stream, it's actually my game. And now he has revive. <laughs> the Merlin healing for 124 uh, 112k. Is that kill? No. Uh he has oh, is that 6 6? Uh no, 5 6, okay. Um We're going to delete the ultimate, and then seal, and I guess we'll single target with Liz. That will actually, that will actually um, delete the ultimate. Oh no! I could have actually AoE'd with um, with Liz here and killed Margaret to at least remove the revive. 200k disabled. Jeez. She was disabled, true. Um, unless he kills my Liz, I am getting her ultimate off, which is nice. Cause he like he's not gonna get four ultimate gauge for the end here. My Liz has so much stats. Her stats are so high at this point. But the end took a lot of damage. Dn took a lot of damage, so not much I can do. Dn is just so powerful. All right, this match has been going very fun, very fun. Let's um, disable him from uh, cleansing, right? And then attack seal. This is PvP right now. Because of Tarmia Link. This is PvP. This is what Tarmia Link did. I I warned everyone. When we saw the details for Tarmia, what his grace did. That, that was it. I, I knew it. I saw like I had a vision of this happening right here. 15 match 15 turn matches. Because the game just can't end with everyone healing, healing, healing. Birkin, thank you for the the Trimum sub. It's finally over. <laughs> it's finally over. But yeah, the one thing about the revive, like he had a, a five six Liz. Revive for one turn is honestly very bad. Like, you struggle to, like, make it actually work, right? Because you need to, like, that turn has to be the turn that you you're gonna dies. That's why I kind of hate 6-6 six, six, giving two turns instead and not just being two turns flat out. Or just 6-6 six, six being one turn, but, yeah. BHP is great. Don't, don't say otherwise.